This is from uh, writing by Caitlin Johnstone, reprinted by Popular Resistance, which you can also find at radindymedia.com. NATO chief admits Russia invaded Ukraine because of NATO expansion, which you have to remember before I even get into this, that they gave us a lot of reasons for, well, Actually, they actually kind of didn't give us any reason at first. The reason they gave for the Russian invasion was mainly just Putin's out of his mind, right? Putin's out of his mind and he just wants to steal things. That's what we heard over and over again. He's a new Hitler. He just wants more countries and more land and everything else. Now, I'm opposed to the Russian invasion, but that doesn't mean I don't want to know the real reasons. I want to know how this was really working. But the real reasons... Uh, among others, are that this war started in 2014 when the Donbass region was largely independent and the Nazis in the Ukraine military were killing Russian cult culturally Russian people in the Donbass region. 14, 15,000 people were murdered just between 2014 and the start of that invasion. But we were told, and we were told, you know, Russia doesn't like this, they don't like that, or they're, Putin's out of his mind. We've given all these reasons. But they always would shoot down the idea that Putin would actually give for his invasion, which was a red line of NATO expansion, a red line of NATO coming closer and closer to Russia's border, including, even though Ukraine wasn't and is not in NATO, they were getting NATO training. They were getting NATO arms. There was talk of sending more NATO arms to Ukraine. All of these things Putin had said were red lines. And we were told, no, 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 none of that matters. They, they, none of that's a thing. It's only because uh, Putin's got a wild hair up his ass. That's it. He's just, he's out of his fucking gourd and he just invades things. But here is the NATO chief. This is from the article during a speech at the EU Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee on Thursday. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg clearly and repeatedly acknowledged that Putin made the decision to invade Ukraine because of fears of NATO expansion. His comments initially flagged by journalist Thomas Fazi uh, read as follows, quote, the background was that President Putin declared the autumn of in the autumn of 2021 and actually sent a draft treaty that they wanted NATO to sign to promise no more NATO enlargement. That was what he sent us and was a precondition to not invade Ukraine. Of course, we didn't sign that. But so he sent something to them saying, essentially, stop expanding NATO and we won't invade Ukraine. And let's remember, this has also put us on the brink of nuclear war. So for all you know, I mean, luckily we haven't seen nuclear war yet, but for all you know, this was, you know, sign this sign this piece of paper saying you won't expand, which was a promise of NATO. NATO made the pro that promise many years ago. And in fact, NATO was created in order to be a supposedly bulwark against the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union is not there anymore. So there shouldn't even be a NATO. It shouldn't exist. And as we just discussed with Libya, it destroys things. Uh, it's not a peaceful organization. So he sends this thing saying, promise you won't expand and then there will be no invasion of Ukraine. And as Jens Stoltenberg says, of course we didn't sign that. The opposite, here, continue from his quote, the opposite happened. He wanted us to sign that promise, never to enlarge NATO. He wanted us to remove our military infrastructure in all allies that had joined NATO since 1997, meaning half of NATO, uh, which also speaks to how much it's been expanding. It's now 30 some countries surrounding Russia uh, and some other former Soviet bloc countries. All the Central and Eastern Europe, we should remove, to continue from the quote, we should remove NATO from th that part of our alliance, introducing some kind of second class membership to NATO. We rejected that. So he went to war to prevent NATO, more NATO close to his borders. Now, you, you might wonder why he was revealing this, why he's admitting to something that they have denied for a year and a half now. And the reason was because he was bragging. He was bragging that Putin wanted NATO to be smaller. And now you have Sweden and Finland joining NATO. So NATO's actually gotten bigger. And so he felt the need, the NATO chief felt the need to sit there and brag about it and say, ha, 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 look at this. We're bigger than ever. Bah. All right.
God, look at us. We're so fucking fat. Oh, man, we're huge. He he was bragging about how big NATO has become. But within that brag, he admits over and over again that Russia invaded Ukraine to stop the expansion of NATO. And that was not what we were told. You, you go back and watch the CNN reports on Russia invading Ukraine and ask yourself how often CNN and Fox News and the others go, well, clearly he's doing this because NATO has expanded onto Russian borders, which they had always said it was a red line for them. Go ahead. Find it. You won't. <laughs>